Welcome my dear Dakashes. Today we are here to discuss about the solid design principles. Now these five design principles, they serve as a foundation for writing clean, maintainable and scalable object oriented code. The first one is the single responsibility principle known popularly as the SRP, which states that a class should have one and only one reason to change, meaning that a class must have a single functionality within the system. According to this principle, you cannot create a class uh, if, it, uh, if it has more than one functions within the system. Once that class is created, it should not change its functionality. Let us say you are trying to create a video player. So you start by creating a video class where you have uh, instantiated the video class by some parameters like the title and the file name and some metadata and other stuff. But also you think that uh, why not uh, why not add the play functionality and the display inform functionality which might be later used for debugging purposes in the video class itself because it is related to the video class, right? So why not add all of this into one? And uh, you might say that your code works, your uh, code works, your video player is playing the video, displaying the video, then why SRP principle is needed here? You see the SRP is being violated clearly because the video class here, eh, apart from uh, containing the video information, it is also uh, doing other stuff, which is violating the principle. Now, the uh, principle is being violated, so there might be some problems, right? Yes. So the problem might be like uh, it might be harder to maintain and debug the code. Let us say you are trying to add some new functionality within this player. Now what might happen that this functionality that you are trying to add to the player, it might affect the display, display logic. You might not know because it is all contained within the same class. So you see that the the, the, the logic is very tightly coupled here. So uh, ch making changes to one functionality is affecting the other. So you see the code is real messy and real cum cumbersome. Now, how will you deal with this if you want to implement the SRP principle? Well, I would say just create three different classes which represent three different functionalities within the system. We have the video which uh, contains the title and file name and other meta metadata. We have the video player class exactly for this, for playing the video. Now, if you want to change to the uh, video player class, if you want to add some logic here, it would not affect the other classes. And if you want to just use the video player, then you will just instantiate that video player object. You would not create uh, another video class with new file name, new metadata and other stuff. So you see the code is not uh, messy here. The code is maintainable. The code is very easy to maintain and debug. And uh, I, I think these are the pros of SRP principle. But at the end, SRP, it is just a guideline. It is not a strict rule. So use your judgment to determine the appropriate level of granularity for your classes. However, striving, striving for SRP can significantly improve the quality and maintainability of your C++ code. So this is it about the SRP. Thank you. Well,